Hello, welcome to my YouTube channel. Let's get into it. I'm Kenyatta the Architect. On this channel, we destroy and build simultaneously for there can be no resurrection without destruction. Once again, I'm Kenyatta, but you will refer to me as Miss Kenyatta, Queen, Goddess, Empress, Ma'am, High Priestess, or whatever I tell you to refer to me as. I have no enemies. The enemies of God have been defeated, but if God is the creator of both the good and the evil, the light and the dark, God has no enemies. He are gods. As well, love and goodwill taken care of within eliminates that without. I will not tolerate anyone stalking me, bullying me, harassing me, or being common with me, or anyone who genuinely supports me on my platform. Affirmations. I am wonderful. I am marvelous. I am magnificent. I am splendid. I am perfect. I am thankful. I am grateful. I am loved. I am loved. I am loved. I am loving. I am lovable. I am healthy. I am wealthy. I am wise. I am the master and creator of my own fate. I am the master and creator of my own destiny. I am my fate. I am my destiny. From the Tao, the King. If you realize that you have enough, you are truly rich. All right. All right, let's move on. Okay. This reading is going to be from Ziborok Beach Tarot Training Deck. <laughs> I found this motherfucker on t <laughs> <laughs> there are a million decks on Timu. All right, but anyway, I didn't know it was a, a training deck, but it's good to, you know, whatever. You're always in fucking training when it comes to Tarot. At least I am. I don't care. <laughs> but any motherfucking way. All right. This is going to be, hold on. Uh, reading for Aries. Aries Zira. All right, let me get you some good shuffles in Aries. Right from the broke, the broke bitch tarot training deck. Very small cards are. That's one thing though about uh, Timu when I order cards. <laughs> the other cards, <laughs> they be so small. Okay, some of them come with the book, some of them don't. This particular one, I had never seen this before. This one, it was not. It purposely says there's no book. You know, it's supposed to be for, for broke witches, like they say, like us two, like the two who put the deck together. I'm sure somebody else out there has heard of this deck, all right? But anyway, um, all right, but it's it's good because it has the general meanings on the cards upright and reverse. I've never used it. This will be my first time, okay, for uh, this segment. Okay, I think I'll use it for all 12 signs, but we'll see, all right? Uh, and that this uh, reading is for Aries, once again, sun sign only. <laughs> okay. Let me give you a nice three-way split here, okay? And why? Because I said so for my reading for this segment, all right? Let's see what some good shuffles. All right. Um, hold on. Let me see. Queen of Cups. Upright. Ten of Coins. Upright. The High Priest. Upright. Aries. Page of Swords. Upright. And we have Eight of Swords, Upright, Aries, all right, let's see what we have for you, uh, man, I feel like Aries, you are in a compassionate space, okay, probably, in a, uh, probably you're probably very intuitive, Okay. or you're using your intuition wisely is what I'm hearing. Continue on in that vein. This is going to bring you um, this good, some financial abundance, some financial security, okay? Um, use your intuition when it comes to this, okay? There's something here for you financially, some financial security on its way. I'm hearing making its way to you, Aries. Okay. Um, mm, I don't know. Maybe you are a spiritualist of some sort. Maybe you have a business. Uh, 
practicing, you know, um, the spiritual business, rather, is what I'm trying to say. Because I feel like um, you're a, a high priest. There, oh, hold on. Let me slow down, okay? A um, couple things back to what I was saying. Something about your intuition, okay? And uh, maybe an inheritance is coming to you okay a financial blessing okay maybe from um yeah obviously family okay i'm hearing someone owes you something someone owes you some money Aries. okay all right they stole this from you all right maybe this was stolen from you okay by family quote unquote family because family in our reality shouldn't be stealing shit from anyone in their family. I mean, period. People should do that. But in their family, okay, but this is what but this is what people do. Okay. But I feel like, Aries, I want to say, use your um, I'm hearing intuitive abilities, intuitive prowess, okay? Don't let these people just come in. I'm, I'm here and snake you. <laughs> okay? Or tell you some things that are not true. They're going to try to do that because I feel like money was taken from you. Money was stolen from you. Okay, property I'm hearing, okay, uh, fin finance, financial some shit, okay, was stolen from you. I, you know, I don't know. <laughs> you probably are an empathetic person, okay, caring, compassionate, all of that, Aries, okay. But, uh, you know, I feel like don't be, don't be a fool ever again okay because i feel like maybe you could have been looked at one as one or you were one in the past not with these fools okay don't trust their alliances have your own okay when it comes to this i'm hearing money power status maybe yours you have been um living you may not have up to this point had a lot of money okay uh, you know I, I'm not saying that you was broke down and poor and all of that type of thing okay maybe you know financially so but you may have been um, you know maybe like living paycheck to paycheck like a lot of America okay um, but I'm you know, like but I can't complain I could but I won't Things have, I'm hearing, have gelled together for me. So things have worked together for you, Aries. It reminds me of the lady who raised me. I think it, she was tr trying to be insulting. But something about, she said to me one time, it's like you live off the land. This is you, okay? In other words, she was saying you broke, bitch, because I've stolen all your money. <laughs> okay, Aries. But anyway, that's what I feel the, the energy that this card here, you know, looking at this Queen of Cups here sitting under this tree, you know, just simplistic living, living off the land, nature, okay, the little butterfly, whatever that is, you know, that she's, you know, holding out her cup, that, that's, that's, that she loves nature, okay, loves simplistic living, or loves herself, and it's just, you know, feeling like, blessed okay with what she has didn't what, what wasn't the quote something like that if you realize that you have enough you're truly rich okay and maybe because of this okay you mean like financial blessings are your reward okay you're going to reap you're going to reap you know like the rewards of, of your harvest here that someone tried to take from you Okay, now somebody I do feel like actually took something finance something tangible from you. Okay, finances, financial support. I am hearing from you here. Look at this, come for goddamn nation. Hold on, please. All right, uh, Aries. Sorry about that. Okay, all right. Okay, I can't remember where I was. Okay, <laughs> but I do feel like um, something is coming into you financially. Okay, I, I'm hearing like so. Be out. Be on the lookout. Okay. 
but at the same time, I just sort of be careful of these squares, okay? Um, whoever stole something from you, tangible, okay? That, that these these people are going to try to come back around in your life, okay? Don't and it's like don't allow them, okay? You know when they show you once who they are, okay? They 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 telling you the truth, okay? <laughs> that may be the only thing, truthful thing they're telling you, okay? I'm here, believe me when I tell you, okay, they're liars and frauds and thieves, okay? And I feel like, you know, this sitting, like, like this picture of this queen of cups sitting alone underneath this tree, you're just fine, okay, without them, okay? Move them right on along here. like you're in this high priest energy knowledge sharing beliefs fellowship and there was a nosy motherfucker okay a page of swords who thought yeah Aries. okay this I'm hearing and I'm gonna say it, this little bitch right here okay what uh, they thought they were going to do Okay, was to steal your, it's like your belief system or your knowledge. That they were going to take it from you because there was something also about stealing not just your financial, your money, okay, but your energy, you know, who you are, okay. Um, steal it from you, okay. Uh, something about to represent you. That This was a, a nosy motherfucker, okay. This person, um, very, uh, what's the word? I can't think of the word right now, okay. Vindictive, hateful, spiteful energy, very jealous energy here. Okay, you, I feel like um, that you maybe you knowledgeable of some things. Like I said, you might be a spiritualist of some sort or whatever. You don't even it doesn't have to even be that. Okay, but you're knowledgeable of some things. Uh, maybe you. Um, talked about the things that you were knowledgeable of you shared amongst uh, people of like minds people like yourself all right um but this person okay this page was always listening in always watching okay i'm hearing always curious as to who you were what you were up to what you was doing when you was doing it how you was doing it okay where you was doing it and why you was doing why do people like her that okay envious jealous highly vindictive okay i'm hearing somebody not a sponsor of themselves okay not focused on themselves okay and their own belief system some about your belief system or whatever it was that you believed okay um they want it to be that they want it to be just like that. I don't know. Maybe they, in a way they wanted to hold you in high regard, but refused. Just couldn't. They just couldn't do it. Okay. They just couldn't hold you in no kind of high regard. Okay. Nobody told their motherfucking ass that they had to. This is pers these are personal issues that they have. Okay. But they projected it on to you, Aries. If not you, then somebody else. Because of their uh, high insecurity levels, I'm hearing. They probably have done this to others. Okay, not just you. Okay. But maybe you you were the one who, um, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe they knew you had something coming. Okay, some kind of financial resource, abundance. Okay, I mean, want to be just like you. But wanted to lie about you and say that you weren't who you were. Okay, or that you aren't who you are. They have gone on some kind of rampage all over the all over the town, all over the earth, all over the world, okay? To tell the world that you ain't shit, Aries, okay? But they want to be just like you. They hold secrets. This person has a, a, a secrets. They hold secrets, okay? I feel like about themselves. We ain't talking about no spiritual, uh, the, key, the spiritual keys and all of that type of shit. 
person is a liar, a manifester of lies. This is all they do. This is what they do. Okay. So I feel like um, they set out here. Like I said. Okay. Maybe set out to do something to you. To kind of like try to bind you. Tie you down. Okay, so that no one would know you, no one would know who you are. Okay, what you, what you are, what you up to, etc., etc., etc. The truth of who you are. Like they was gonna try to imprison you, okay, in their their own lair. But here they are, a page, knowing they are, but refusing to believe. Okay, that you are. I, I want to say it higher than them. I'm hearing the word. That's what I'm hearing. Higher than them, spiritual ranking, etc., etc., etc. But this is how this person looked at it. So they knew knew it, but were in denial of it within themselves because they can't stand themselves. This has nothing to do with you. But they want to project project their energy and their problems and their manifestation of lies and and all of this type of thing onto you. It's a personal problem, personal issues. Okay. And they thought because they felt bound and tied down and hateful of themselves, so on and so forth, they was going to put you in this energy. So then here come a motherfucking page who really looking up to you, okay, but just don't, because of their insecurities and jealousy and their whatever fucking kind of problems that they have, it's not really your business nor your fucking concern here, okay? They want to uh, try to put you, you know, imprison you. They make you feel trapped like they feel trapped. Trapped within themselves. I mean, they wanted you to, like, hate yourself. I'm going to make them hate they self, themselves. How? Who the fuck are you? They're going to listen to your fucking words? What you have to say about them? This fucking queen of cups, high priest, personal energy or whatever? Who done walked their path and did they shit? long probably before you was a fucking thought in their fucking life but because you got issues and problems and hate yourself this is what you're going to try to do to Aries who the fuck are you okay. what they like I always say what they would tell us in church what the old folks would say come up in your mind goddamn. okay but I'm here but you can't anyway okay because you feel trapped okay blind to the truth self-limiting limiting yourself and limiting yourself by doing this to someone doing this to Aries okay or trying to do this to Aries and God knows whoever else you did it to and just karma just come in you just pile in the karma on your head bah, 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 to the point where you just have limit limited yourself because you're too busy paying off karmic debt now okay. or swimming in your karmic shit can't be free. I mean, when you could have been. Let's just continue on here. Here we have judgment in the reverse. Death upright. The lovers in reverse. Okay. Ten of wands upright. And of course, I'm hearing it, it you know. <laughs> I'm just hearing. I haven't gotten to it yet, but I'm hearing. It always got something to do, okay, about some damn man. Who don't want your motherfucking ass but a night or two to swim in that shit, okay? That everybody done swim swam in. I'm here except for Aries. Okay. So Aries, whoever you are, be glad. Yeah, wanting you to doubt yourself, okay? And, and repeat mistakes, go back into some karmic cycle with their motherfucking ass. You know this person. Okay. Wanting you to ignore your calling. Okay. What God has called you to do or who God has called you to be. The, the God's design of you. Wanted you to actually, with that page as, and I keep hearing, knowing that they're a fucking page. Wanting you to listen to, to them. Walk their path of uh, self-destruction. I'm here, self-realization of self-destruction. That, in other words, that they ain't shit, and they know they ain't shit. And here you are, queen energy, high priest energy. Been there, done that, bitch. Who the fuck are you? But this is what they wanted. This person was nosy as fuck, always listening in. Okay, I don't know the relationship that you had with this person. Maybe you might have been friends with this person a long time, known them. I'm seeing family. This was possibly a family member. Always watching, always listening. They probably had been sending your shit, monitoring spirits to your, to your house and all, or whatever the fuck, motherfucker, looking in their crystal ball at you. And 
probably and feeling like because you didn't do that type of shit. Oh, I, mm. I can be dead. I'm bed in. Yeah. Fuck ears up, cause I'm a jealous motherfucker and refuse to deal with my own personal self, my own personal issues, fucking up life as I go. In everyone's path, I fucking come across. Let's continue on. Here go the goddamn, as I say, monitoring fucking spirits and goddamn nags. Keep that shit for your fucking self. I mean, who, who the fuck, a uh, uh, fucking nags? Nasty insects. That's what you're gonna use. Filth. That's all you can fucking manifest. It's filth. To go fucking bother somebody. Let me see what they do. What they talking about. Talk about here like it's me. That's so I can destroy them. Idiot. I'm bending them, but all I can manifest is a filthy ass fly and a filthy ass gnat to monitor their fucking ass. It's disgusting. Okay. All right. But moving fuck the fuck on. All right. Yeah, see, they thought they was going to, whatever, whoever you are, whatever you do. Whatever walk it is that you fuck, you, who you walk, Aries, okay? They thought that what they was going to do was going to end that shit for you. Okay. Your life was going to be over. You wasn't going to have nothing. You wasn't going to have nobody. And this might have been a fucking group effort because it's right up under this family shit. It was more than one, more than this bitch. Okay. But they damn sure used this bitch is what I'm hearing. <laughs> Family use this person, okay, or the group, whoever the group or whatever the group is, use this person to do this to you, because this person is use, easily used, I'm hearing, easily ex accessible, they can use them easily because they know their insecurities, I'm hearing plotting, planning, and all that shit, they know their insecurities, They, the, this group here, this family, they've played on this person's insecurities, okay, for years, all their fucking life. That's what this person needs to be focused on. How to get about that shit. They need to get away from these motherfuckers too. Okay. But they so dead set on trying to please these motherfuckers and kiss their ass. Because they've made this person feel like as though they were a nothing and a nobody. And they thought that was going to do that to you too. See, they thought you was in that same fucking energy. That you was just so dead set on pleasing their motherfucking asses. Kissing their ass. Who they are. What they about. Okay, but I'm here, you know, fuck them, okay? Aries, don't care. Right. They didn't want you, um, okay, so like I said, see, this was powerful movement. This was a, a, this was a powerful movement for this collective. To try to eliminate and destroy one person. Steal their money, their wherewithal, their being, and all of that. That was a movement. You know, I was I, I posted on my uh, community tab when slavery ended, 1865. I was talking to this guy a couple weeks ago. And uh, he kept saying that to me because we were just talking about some of the ills, you know, of society, personal shit, and all of that kind of stuff. And he was like, you know, <laughs> slavery just ended. And it just ended, you know, 1865. It really just put some shit in perspective. When you think you're further along, okay, because you ain't necessarily uh, physically on the cotton field and all this information is right here at the, our fingertips and all the research and everything that has been done, you think we would know, okay? And it's like, that's not that long ago at all. 158 years. It's 158 years and six months. It's not that long ago. This was a movement for them to do this to one person. Not a movement of let's go, you know, fix the ills of society, let's go look at our family and what the fuck is going on and break these generational curses that may have come as a result of, you know, slavery and so on and so forth. These are some black folks I'm talking about in America. The United States of America. That's what this reading is about. That's not, that's not. 
movement to end somebody, one person. We don't like them how they look, all the isms and God knows whatever else. They won't kiss our ass and God knows whatever fucking else, okay? They can't be a part of the uh, of the sick shit we got going on in our family for whatever reason and, and so on and so on. They ain't going to be a part of They going to speak out, blah, 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 blah. Aries is just too much. We got to knock this bitch off or this motherfucker off. They were trying, you know, putting, trying to put you in a place of having trust issues, being detached, okay, feeling conflict, not having nobody, no love, okay, um, you know, okay, I'm even hearing no sexual encounters, encounters, they want you to have shit, okay. wanting you to feel a uh, burden, burnt out, like you was just fine. Fight is an uphill battle. I gotta keep fighting all the time. Keep fighting all the time. That's the energy that they wanted to put you in. Make you feel like you were taken for granted. This is the energy that they were striving to put you in. Okay. With this person at the helm. Auntie, uncle, and them telling them this is what you did. Bullshit. What a legacy to leave. The tower in reverse. The sun in reverse. Ace of coins upright. I said, you got to keep fighting all the time. Woe is me. I can't believe what done happened to me here. Look at what done happened to me. Days done got me. Days got all that money over there and I ain't got shit. And you, wouldn't, you, you weren't supposed to know that that actually was yours. Motherfuckers, okay. See, I don't know. Um, see, they thought you was. This is how they thought you were, anyway. I mean, who who spread that lie? Who spread that tall tale? Okay, it's beyond me. One of these family members. That you want shit. You can't get your shit together. You ain't nobody. You ain't nothing. You struggling without they motherfucking ass. What would you do? Lordy me. And God knows what else, what, what else they were saying. They wanted some kind of, um, something about fear of change. Didn't want you to change. Didn't want you to grow. But the thing that's crazy is, I feel like they thought this is that's how you were. Okay. They thought that's how you were. Um, didn't want trying to avoid here. 
your growth. I don't know. They're trying to avoid something concerning you, Aries. I'm not quite sure. Maybe this financial uh, uh, inheritance thing or something like that. If there's money coming to you, some kind of there's some kind of financial security here. I'm I'm hearing coming on its way to you. Okay. I don't know. Maybe that they felt that was going to liberate you and, and you want to break free from their chains. You know that their the things that they, however they were trying to bind you or whatever. Okay. I'm, I'm also in there with using you for something, okay? Maybe for your energy or something like that, okay? Wanted you to be, you know, just pessimistic. Living in a space of pes pessimism. Pessimism. <laughs> okay. Um, okay. Um, blind here to the truth. Just, a neg just being negative. Nothing right. Nothing. I was just living in misery. The world is just miserable. In other words, they want you to be like them. But you're not. And again, here's this uh, with this ace of coins upright. There's something here, once again, about some kind of financial opportunity, prosperity, manifesting money. I don't know how this is going to come into you, Aries. I don't know if it's you're going to win a goddamn lottery. If somebody left you something, you're going to get it, okay? If these motherfuckers stole or tried to steal or whatever the fucking case may be, okay? Or maybe you're going to start a business or something like that and you are going to find yourself doing well financially. I'm not, I don't know. Okay, <clears throat> but the money is coming to you. Okay, that you will be financially prosperous and secure. I'm here more than secure. I heard something about outlandish. It's like people may look at it like it's outlandish. How did she or he get all that money? Where did that come from? Okay, here we have the seven of wands in reverse, temperance, upright. And the Nine of Swords, upright. Uh, you know, don't you, <laughs> as far as these motherfuckers are concerned, you know, I don't know. I do feel like somebody is going to try to come in to convince you of something. Okay, one of these people here, maybe this page who was trying to fuck with you, okay, in, in, in your thing and all of that. I'm going to be you and I'm betting you and all of that type of shit, okay. But I can't get my shit together from one day to the next and all of that type of thing, all right. Um, I feel like they might try to come in and... I don't know, maybe we sorry or we love yet, you know, something, okay, to try to convince you to, you know, surrender to them. You can't live out there on your own by yourself like that. How's you gonna do that? All that money. <laughs> you got all that money. You need some help with that, ain't you? Okay. Of course, they're not gonna say it like that so, so, so some people might you never know okay i know somebody could help you balance them books <laughs> you understand what i'm saying okay i got a lawyer who can help you you might go to my account bullshit not wanting you to listen to your intuition but i feel like at this point you should need to listen to no you should need no intuition nothing like that for you to look at them and be like motherfuckers please you tried to basically kill a bitch or a motherfucker whatever okay tried to make me you know fold in on myself and all of that type of thing he was working mighty hard so you don't really need no intuition, okay, to use your intuitive abilities and all of that type of thing, okay, and let me pray about it. You know, I don't, don't you believe for one second if, you know, if you have moved away from these energies, which hopefully you fucking have, okay, don't you believe for one second that that group or that collective, that's 
all that walks in the world. Ain't nobody else. Leave these people right where they be. Hungry, I'm hearing, for your manifestations. Because okay. I feel like maybe when you were around, they was already eating up off of it. But you, 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 I feel like you, oh, 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 you know, woke up. perspective here, balance, if, you're in, uh, if you are in harmony now, balance, okay, taking care of yourself, living your life, living off the land and all of that type of thing, but you're just fine, move the fuck on, okay, be happy with that, but I can tell you, <laughs> see, I'm going to tell you what they're going to do, they might use this person who they just paid, who they've been using, okay, for years, to come in, oh, the fuck not and that, that this depression intense anxiety feeling hopeless this person this page that they've used okay to target you I'm hearing and others may actually be in that energy but they're in it because of what this is what they were trying to do to you put you in a state of depression intense, intense anxiety feeling hopeless whoa whoa is me Ain't nothing out there for me. Everybody gone. That's what they were trying to do to you. So people just, you know, the world just gives. You know, what they, they you just get what you give. That's what you want for somebody. Oh, okay, then well, let's make it happen with, for you. You're making it happen for yourself. So they may try to play off your empathetic nature, your compassionate nature, okay, to get their ass, all right, up uh, yeah, look at this, at the bottom of the deck, page of wands in reverse, gullible, okay, I want you to be gullible, okay, world here, in reverse, okay, not wanting nothing to end, okay, one thing. Let them motherfuckers come in. It's going to be some emptiness, stagnation, and, and delays. Okay? The star in reverse. Wanting you to, again, they, they, see, they're not done. Don't give a fuck. Hopeless, bored, uninspired. This is what they want here for you. Okay? Keep them away. Okay? Here we have the inner garden, from the inner garden oracle, wholeness. Okay? And the stone is... Uh, turquoise. It's lit honey. What does it say? It's better to be alone sometimes. Okay. You damn sure don't need this shit. Okay. In your space and in your energy. Okay. Because uh, they ain't gonna they ain't, they gonna finish what the fuck they was trying was started on your motherfucking ass. Okay. All right. All right. I certainly hope that resonated with some areas I that you all like, share, and subscribe to those who have subscribed to my channel. Thank you. If you have not but you watch my videos, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell, thumbs up, comment, come over, see what's happening here, and let's get into it. You all have favor. Peace.